And now I'm joined with Rita O'Brien and Peter Scanlon. And they come from that lovely village well close by to Carrigadruffet. And if you haven't heard already, they've been doing very well in the Tidy Towns in the Litter Challenge. And they have a new project now coming up as well that they'll tell you about. Now I'm going to talk to Rita first about the Tidy Towns, when it happened, how it happened and how they're getting on. So Rita, you're very welcome to the programme. Thank you. And just let us, let the viewers know when when the Tidy Towns all started. Well, your husband was responsible really and so four years ago Con got us all together and uh, decided that we might enter just a litter challenge but he, with a view really to being part of the Tidy Towns because we have such a scenic, beautiful village and he felt that uh, its impact was being missed and lost even though we're on the main Blarney Killarney tourist route. So we met and we still meet uh, at very frequent intervals in Carrigadrohead in the Carrigan and uh, we started with humble beginnings but we decided to clean up the place so we had a very loyal band of members really about 20 and uh, with the first year of course we learned all about the rules and regulations of litter and that and we've continued since every year and uh, we, that culminated then this year in us winning, uh, first of all, South Cork, which had 31 villages and towns, and then um, winning the, uh, the whole county, really, Kildare and Glendore were uh, runners up there for that. Because that was amazing, and of course there is a financial gain from winning, so there is an incentive to go out cleaning, like indeed I see Rita O'Brien at 8, maybe 7 o'clock in the morning, joined by Mary Harrington and many others in the neighbourhood. Anyone that's passing Carrigadrohead early in the morning, in particular during this, uh, the summer season, watch out for these ladies with the yellow jackets, because they're keeping the place as beautiful as it should be. And what amazes me sometimes is when you tell me, Rita, when I'm just passing on and they're doing the picking up, about penalties for things such as cigarette butts or we'll say a tato bag or a, a can after a drink or all that. But I think maybe children are more aware, are they, Rita, as a result of this? I don't think children are the main culprits at all, actually. Is that right? Yeah, if you put out the bins and if you make them aware, and of course the local school children are involved because they've done competitions and they've also planted uh, some planters in the platform area of the village so they're very aware and of course they have the green flag now in the school as well they're very eco-friendly so um, I must say that all the community have supported us extremely well and those people who go out I mean we have both men and women picking all the time uh, and very aware of it and they have they all take a different route and uh, they meet then maybe once a week and do a big clean up and m many local farmers and neighbours come with their vehicles and trailers and things and they take away all the offending and articles. Of course your chairperson yeah. is Anne McCarthy then of Carrigadrohead who works very hard as well. Yes. Could you tell me now Rita, is there a bad time for litter? For example, we'll say Sunday morning after Saturday night or is there an afternoon is there a time when you go out and you pick up a lot more litter than you would another time something that people can be aware of I suppose our biggest problem is people who throw articles out of car windows and mm. they could be takeaways they could and be they're anything not locals of course no not they could, we, we even get uh, empty cartons from McDonald's and places like that yeah just thrown so we're we're constantly at the mercy of the people who actually roll down the window and throw out uh, different mm. articles. So is it fair mm. to ask now what you have um, got in prize money this year already for all the hard work? Yes, we won 1,200 for winning the, uh, the South Cork uh, competition and then we got another 1,200 for winning the county. So. That's just amazing. We've, we've done well. Yeah. I think that every village out there now is going to be listening in and they'll want to win it next year. But of course, you see, Rita never stops because, as you know, she's the costume designer of our mm. in-house productions here, working very hard at the moment for the pantomime. Mm -hmm. But I do believe that she overheard something on the radio a few weeks ago uh, that she brought the note to the notice of Peter Scanlon. Yeah. So tell us what you heard on the radio and we'll talk to Peter about where we, he took it up from there. Well, um, I just happened to hear the in the business, the George Lee 
programme there on Radio Air last Saturday week. Um, it was uh, just a, a very quick introduction, just that there was a competition on and sponsored by, Peter will give you the details of the company, by a company which installs Christmas lighting. And um, I, they just needed a photograph of our current efforts, any town or village, and uh, to be emailed before the end of the programme. So that was midway almost through the programme. So uh, Peter and I live quite close together. But anyway, I just got on to him and he straight away, without hardly knowing what he was doing or why, he emailed the photograph of our solar tree, which we have had for the last three years now, a solar uh, tree in the village, which is unique, if you like. And um, they mooted that it possibly is the only one in Ireland. So it's it's a sorbus and it's a light little thing, a light um, branched tree. And uh, uh, he sent off and then on the following Friday, uh, both Peter and I were contacted. So I'll pass it over to you now, Peter, next. As yeah, to what and of course, thing. Peter was on RT radio, I think, to discuss this as well. Is that right, Peter? Yeah, when Peter rang me, I um, I was looking for a photograph in the Indian. I wasn't really sure what they were actually looking for, but I hadn't heard the terms and the conditions of the, of the program. Um, so I sent in one of the lighting of the tree last year in the village, and um, I, I had no idea. I'd for, I actually forgot about it at that stage because. I, you know, normally with these competitions, we don't, you don't keep, if we buy a ticket or something, you don't be looking at the ticket every day, see when the, the, the clause, when the results are going to be known. So, um, I didn't think anymore, but I got a phone call on, I think it was Friday morning, saying that we were on the top three. Um, uh, I can't remember the, the other three, Board Hill to Prairie was one anyway. And Johnstown, uh, Kilkenny. Johnstown, Johnstown, Kilkenny, but when I heard that Board Hill to Prairie were in it, I said, you know, we have a very poor chance because, um, uh, they had won the tidy towns, and I said they surely have a better photograph of their mm, village having won course, the yeah. than we would have. But I suppose uh, the photograph they sent in, uh, I did put in a, a paragraph of about the village in with it. I was one of the things I did put in was that we believe we are the first village in Ireland to have a solar powered Christmas tree. So I think that could well have been the, that, the winning. That could swing it. Could be the winning yeah. point. Uh, but they rang me on Friday morning saying that we were in the top three uh, and they rang in later on the day looking for my landline to be available for the programme on, on Saturday morning. Um, so, uh, but they, they did tell me that Saturday morning when they rang that they would ring me regardless whether we won or not. So when the phone did ring towards the end of the program, <laughs> I still wasn't excited because I said Bird Hill had a very yeah, good testimony. Having won the Teddy Town, yeah. they would have that better yeah. photograph. So um, they rang towards the end of the program and um, 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 they announced on the air, I hadn't known it before it, that we had actually won it. So um, we were very fortunate because, uh, or as Rita was saying, we have a very small village. I suppose we were saying we were just the only solar port Christmas tree, but I suppose we're probably the smallest village in Ireland as well mm. because we have a pub and a shop, we have no housing estate, we have housing either side of the village, but we actually have no housing estate. So it's a wonderful, a it's, a wonder, it's a wonderful, um, it's a wonderful uh, event for a small little community like that to get a prize like that. The prize is valued at 1500 euros, it's sponsored by MK Electronics, and my name is John Reardon, and he lives in Turho, but uh, he was, I mean, we, we, we are really grateful to him because he, when he came out and saw the village, he not only said that, he, he, he what he actually said was he was sponsored the light of the village regardless of the cost. So he had gone way over the actual oh, budget that's very good. of the 1500 yeah. euros that he originally uh, said that it was on the price. So we are very fortunate to him and he has been most obliging, most mm -hmm. helpful and he's outside now this morning. Uh, put up the lights and he'll be on again tomorrow. I think there's a lot of Lighting villagers out there now Lighting. that are sorry they I'm didn't sure. hear the conversation <laughs> sure on the radio again, that Rita <laughs> heard and that didn't have a photograph that Peter Scanlon had yeah. ready well, to I go. Well I suppose it was fortunate because the time scale was very short. Mm. When Rita rang me there was about 10 minutes left in the programme. Yeah. I had to go looking for a photograph. I wasn't sure what they actually wanted. She said it was a lighting competition. So right, I said I'd print the one of the the lighting the yeah. tree. I had plenty of the village and the castle, yeah. but uh, but it, we, when everything came together, we had one. Well, there's no doubt one. about what so it's a wonderful option. Yeah. It's a wonderful because not only uh, that, but we know even though he has given us uh, all these lights, which are valued at 
a, a multiple of the of the original mm. uh, prize money. Um, they are ours to keep, so that next That's year fantastic. they will be there again. But he obviously was impressed with what he saw in Cargillo, and why yeah. wouldn't he be? Yeah. Because Peter, you can just show the viewers there yeah. a few pictures yeah. from the calendar that I showed you a few weeks ago, but it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's a, a native Cargillo who tidy towns produced by yeah. the Tidy Towns as well, with photographs from Peter the and other and other photographers the in the area as the well. The, 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 each year for the last number of years now, the Tidy Towns have produced a calendar, and this is the one for this year. So here's a photograph just taken from uh, uh, looking over a wall in the village at one of the, the houses. And here we have, um, uh, on the top left, we have a snow-covered Carrigadra Hood, and we have um, looking into Carrigadra Hood, and we have actually inside in the village, uh, we have uh, Nabdi Nangis Bull here, a bit amused by the camera. And here we have one of the beautiful scenic locations uh, close to the village, that's in January. And if we move on, we have here um, the St. Val's, which would be the local, uh, near the weekend to be local, uh, ladies football team. And they were the under 12s, 12 uh, county champions uh, 2010. So each year we have a different, we, we, we'll be up something different. So this year we also have. <coughs> Last year we featured the comb as our <coughs> local area. This year we were taking in the Balnamarov area. So up on the top left hand corner here, there's a photograph of a trashing at Buckley, Buckley Lahrens, uh, sometimes back in, the, I'd say probably in the 60s, I'm not sure, maybe earlier. Uh, the official opening of the extension to Balnamarov School and the oldest pupil there is being presented with a cake. Uh, here are some of the children at the same event. And here we have a very nice photograph of um, uh, taken, I'm not sure the date, uh, it's, we, we have Father Dwyer, a farmer, parish priest of Valnamarov, and Father Cronin, who was a curate at the time. No, Peter, if you much want to show the all the calendar, yeah. <laughs> I'm after showing right. some pictures of this <laughs> right. already. No, the calendar but you see, the thing is, we have to let them curious as well. Yeah, we will. So <laughs> this calendar is available in a few places. Yeah, yeah. I know on the shop in Carrigadohood, and I know Evelyn has it here in Macomb. Yeah. And McCarthy's shop as well. Yeah. So don't forget, and it is actually a beautiful, yeah. beautiful piece. One last photograph there, this A lovely, here, a lovely the, gift for people like photograph. Christmas on the back of the near the photograph and there are some lovely uh, photographs of the owl uh, the, the barn owl that's in the in the castle in Calgary taken by Richard Unit who is a geologist and he's a member of the Tidy Towns Committee and he's living locally. Sounds to me like you've all the right people in the right place but now that we have all the information and the lights have been put up at the moment Rita I'm going to ask you what are we going to expect because I know there's a, an official switching on of the lights on Sunday next so what do people ex what will they expect to find what will be different about Carrigadrahut for people that are there already what will they expect to see that they didn't see last year and for people that haven't been in Carrigadrahut before which are very few and far between I'm sure can come along to have a look at what are they going to see or what can they expect well, I suppose the main thing about Carrigadrahut is that it'll be a community gathering now. And it, the, the atmosphere and the spirit of Christmas is actually very, it's palpable and evident among the people. Everybody is happy. And that's what the parents say. They just like it. It's simple. Uh, in its presentation, uh, we have various little features. There's the switching on of the lights, of course, which will be done by uh, two gentlemen from the GEE, John Barry Murphy and John O'Sullivan. And um, then that will, our solar tree will still be in position, but the big switch on, of course, of all the lights around in the village and the houses will be uh, exciting for us all. And there'll be some refreshments and hopefully Santa might call to see us. And uh, it should be a few nice carols from the local school children and a happy atmosphere. So it sounds like it's going to be a lovely evening. Hopefully the weather will be good and um, everybody seems to be involved as well. Did you have something that, to say I about that? I was just going to say there that, you know, she mentioned about the solar tree, that is lighting, but we also have a seven metre tall, over 20 feet tall uh, Christmas tree, which will be lit with, oh, that would be sure, fantastic. 3,000 something lights in it. And a backdrop to the whole thing, of yeah. course, is Carrigadrahut yeah. yeah. Castle. Yeah. So it, that really promises to be beautiful. Is there a time for this, Rita? Uh, that's six o'clock on Sunday the 4th, and uh, also um, the members are working very hard at the moment. They erect, have erected the crib and uh, tidying the village. So, I mean, the band of people who help us, they're amazing. It's not a case of... Um, 
Now, in the case of ask not what you, uh, your country yeah. can do for you, yeah, exactly. they're all willing. The usual. And, they, yeah, and we have an unbelievable dedicated band of yeah. hard work, people who work all year round. We want to actually acknowledge that and thank them. Well, now I think that's something to look forward to. So if you're, if you're hanging around Carrigadod on, on Sunday next at around 6 o'clock, isn't it? I think it's the place to be. It sounds like there's going to be music, Santa Claus, um, a beautiful atmosphere and best of all there's going to be gorgeous lights that's it now from us everybody's welcome doesn't <laughs> okay. matter where you're from <laughs> okay